Hey there, my name is Joe Barnard, and I have some exciting news today. Signal Avionics, or rather the first revision, Signal Alpha, is ready to go. Orders are open now, and they will be open until this coming Monday, October 23rd. Once the order period closes on Monday, I'll be able to send out orders to the manufacturers, and we'll get going. Production takes about a month, which means that Signal will be available and shipped in the middle of November. The next round of production will take place in probably January of 2018, if not later. This is just because production cycles like this are a little stressful as a small company. I don't have a lot of funds to mount to produce a bunch of these things, so we have to do it in rounds like this initially. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the fun stuff, like what's included in the Signal Alpha package. First, and obviously, is the Signal Fly Computer. This is the thing that controls the rocket and is basically the heart of the system. Next, we have the mounting brackets for the computer. These go inside your airframe and keep the computer straight and upright in line with the vehicle. These are available in both 66mm and 74mm airframe sizes. You'll also get the BPS thrust vectoring mount. This is a pre-built mount for either 24mm or 29mm motors. It fits in 66mm or 74mm airframes. Some of the smaller things included are the M3.5 millimeter screws that are standard with the whole system. You'll get cutout guides to make sure you make the right cuts on your rocket airframe. Two 50 centimeter TVC extension cables. These will connect the flight computer, which may be higher up in the rocket, with the thrust vectoring mount, which may be lower down. And lastly, the Signal Alpha package comes with one free tuning of any custom vehicle that you build. Each rocket behaves a little bit differently and requires different tunings of the flight computer. To help get the system and the whole concept off the ground, I'll be providing free tuning to anyone who wants to build a custom vehicle and use the Signal Flight computer in it. Okay, next, what is not included? What's not in the box that you're going to need to fly a rocket? Well, you'll need a rocket, obviously, but some of the smaller things are a little LiPo battery or a 9-volt battery. Either of these will power the Signal Flight computer, and they'll do it just fine. I prefer the LiPo because it's a bit more powerful and can push out a lot more amperage, plus it's rechargeable, which helps for multiple flights. You'll need a little micro SD card. Anything bigger than a gigabyte will be just fine. This goes into the back of the Signal Flight computer and is used to configure most of the settings, like deployment altitude, etc. You'll need a few lengths of motor mount tube for the specific motor that you're going to fly with. Each of these thrust vectoring mounts is spec to be a little bit bigger than the motor, so you need the motor mount tube to mitigate the heat around there. So in case you're using an APCP motor or something that burns really hot, you want to make sure you have a liner between the plastic and the motor case. All right, next, let's talk about configuration settings. This is my favorite part because this computer can do tons of stuff. We have an ascent deployment channel. So if you wanted to deploy some type of fold away fins, if you wanted to deploy a little parachute guy, whatever you want off of the rocket on the way up, that's pyro channel one. Pyro channels two, three, and four can be configured on descent. And all of these channels have altitudes connected to them. So if you're coming down at 30 meters, you're gonna deploy pyro channel two, something like that. Next, you have the in-flight abort system. First, you have enable or disable. You also have the violation criteria. If the vehicle is more than 12 degrees over, then abort the flight, that kind of thing. And then you have an abort safeguard. So let's say that your vehicle is traveling up and it's been within the abort criteria for about three seconds now. The system can be turned off if you want it to. If you figure that, all right, well, once we're, I don't know, 30 meters up, we're not gonna need to abort anymore. So let's just keep the flight going. So that's what the safeguard does. Next, you have separate X-axis and Y-axis PID gains. This is helpful if you want to build an asymmetric vehicle, something that is longer in this axis than it is in this axis. I haven't flown a vehicle that's needed this before, but I can imagine there might be a few builds that will, so I've included the feature. Next, we have some really low-level settings. These are things like PID limits, TVC gear ratios, and drive directions for each axis. Um, this is kind of hard to explain in one video, but Basically, if you're building your own TVC mount, you'll want access to these settings, um, but otherwise you can just leave them alone. Next, you have one of my favorite features, which is course correction. Uh, if the vehicle takes off at an angle, and even if you're rolling, you can correct back to upright. This was demonstrated in a recent test as well. The settings for this are enable and disable. You have the start time off the pad, so how long it waits to begin the correction. And finally, the rate. So you could correct it perhaps 15 degrees per second, or if you were really ambitious, don't, don't do this, but you could do like 90 degrees per second. This is really helpful for if your vehicle's traveling at a higher speed when you'll want a slower correction. Next, we have the launch detection threshold. Uh, this is pretty simple. So how fast is the vehicle accelerating when it leaves the pad? And lastly, we have a couple of modes. We've got a TVC calibration mode. We've got a static fire testing mode. This is for like a gimbaled test, things like that. Uh, we've got a pyro channel check mode. This is for making sure that your pyro channels are actually working and sending the right amount of voltage. And lastly, you've got party mode because every computer needs a party mode. Before I leave you, I just want to make a couple of notes here. First, Signal Alpha is really complicated and not for novice rocketeers. 
If you're just getting into the hobby, or if you haven't done a custom scratch build before, I don't recommend purchasing Signal Alpha, or at least using it in your first build. Second, if something ships to you and is broken or doesn't seem right, send it back and I will fix or replace it. Now, this is pretty simple, just want to make sure everyone has a working product. To further that point, if something seems off or if you're unsure about a setting or how to build something or how to put something together, email me, contact me, uh, and we will work through it and make sure it happens. No one likes to smash rockets and uh, whatever I can do to mitigate that is a good idea. And lastly, unfortunately, I'm only able to sell Signal Alpha to folks who are US citizens and residents right now. I'm working on making this international, and I'm sure it will be one day, but right now I have to keep it just within the United States. And that's all. That's everything. So if you're interested in purchasing or just looking around about Signal Alpha, you can visit the link here or in the description down below. If you have questions about anything, the best place to reach out is the contact form on the homepage of the website. And lastly, I just want to thank everyone who is considering or is investing in the first round of Signal Avionics. I've worked really hard to make Signal as useful as possible. I think it can make a great cross-section between DIY endeavors, model rocketry, and perhaps an education tool. And if you're wondering where I am, welcome to my parents' basement. This is where I live now. Uh, I moved home to keep my overhead low while I'm getting the business started. Uh, purchases of Signal Avionics will help get this off the ground, literally and figuratively. So folks who are interested in investing, thank you very much. And otherwise, I'll talk to you all soon. Production takes about a month, which means that Signal Alpha will ship in about mid-November. Hold on. What's up, buddy? Want to come up? Say hello to Benji. Hello! Are you excited? It's going to be great. You don't care. You just want dinner. Okay, hop off. See you, Benji.